John Marr, Grass 10. Two thirds of the soils in the country are deficient in lime, pea or okay. So the average beef farm can grow 25% more grass if they could fix soil fertility. This is worth about 100 euros per acre additional profit, simply because the grass goes down the throat of the animal and lowers the costs of beef production. So where do we start in terms of proving soil fertility? We start with first with knowing where we are. And that's, a, that's carrying out a soil test in the months of November, December, um, January, or even early February. And that is, that for that, at that time, doing that soil test will tell you where you are in terms of P, K, and lime status. And the first step then, um, uh, of, uh, after knowing where you are, is to fix the pH on the farm by spreading lime. When the soils are very, very acid, the environment that the, the grass grows in is, is, is quite hostile. And unfortunately, when the lime requirement is high and your soils are very, very acid, the pea in particular can get locked up by the soil. So the first step in the process of fixing the soil is to uh, apply lime. And this for the average farm would be about two tonnes of lime per acre every, every four to five years. The next thing then is to try and fix the P and K. And really we want to index three, because if we're at index one or two, um, that means our soils are very deficient in P's and K's. And the aim is to get up to index three for, for P's and K's. And for many soils in the country, given that they're deficient in P's and K's, a, a good place to start is, is, is the month of April and move across the season applying compound fertilizers. The likes of 18612 goes a long way to fixing um, P and K deficiency. The second last piece of, of this story is to apply slurry where the soil is deficient most on the, on the farm. And the only way of knowing that is to carry out the soil test. So the slurry goes to the areas where the P and K deficiency is worse. Finally then is a, is a matter of getting the balance of fertilizer right. So if you are defer, very deficient in P's and K's, products like 1812 work well. If you're very efficient in K, products like 20, 0, 19 work well, or spreading murate of potash at the end of the year. K, murate of potash, can be spread all year round. Lime can be spread all year round. We have restrictions around P, so we start fixing the, the phosphorus deficiency from the month of April on to about August, September.